So today, first of all, what are these things for? And yes, my sleeve is wet, but if you had these things on your sleeve, like, wouldn't you, if you had your thumbs through these thumb slots, like, wouldn't your sleeves get all wet? Or is this to keep your hands warm? Like, I don't know if I, this is how I end up wearing these sleeves. <laughs> Especially since it's in the middle of summer. So today I was at the grocery store. I was running for some errands for my mom and um, I ran into an old friend and we were talking about the third dimension, hey Marie, and the fifth dimension and the ascension of earth. And as she's telling me this stuff, I was, I was wondering if she thought I thought she was nuts. <laughs> but you know, the more she talked, the more it made sense. And um, it wasn't really that out there and it was interesting. It's an interesting theory, and I think there's a lot of truth to it. Even if you don't believe anything, any of this thing I'm about to share with you, you could suspend your belief, and you could shift the way you're living your life, and you could choose to see the way you live your life differently. Are you up for the challenge? I mean, if we're going to watch movies like Infinity War and Endgame and, you know, Star Wars and all these fantastical movies and really suspend our belief and really be in the movie when I'm what I'm about to tell you what if you suspended your belief and you're pretending that you're watching a movie that I'm sharing with you and then you can choose to believe what you believe and you can choose to take what you take out of it because everything I say is perfect and divine as everything that else else that happens in your life and you can choose to have a certain conversation about it. You could choose to be a certain way about it. You can choose to have certain feelings about it. You can choose how you respond to the information that is presented to you and you get to create your most powerful life. Always. Okay. So, how do I put this nicely? How do I prepare you mentally for this conversation I'm about to have with you? Okay, so let's back up. Back in 7th, 7th, 8th grade, I read this book called You Are Becoming a Galactic Being. And it was probably written in 1999. I read it in, was it written in 1999? It was probably written in the 1990s or 1980s or something. I probably read it in 1993 or something. And, and it was talking about how the human race was transforming. And uh, many of us were, our DNA was changing and um, the life that as we knew it wouldn't be so anymore. And I remember thinking, gosh, like if life was going to be different and it really didn't matter, then I'm not really going to study really hard for this test because it doesn't matter. Everything's going to change anyways. <laughs> and that probably kind of started like the downhill of my studies. And then maybe a year later, I kind of got back into getting my good grades again. But for a while, I was just like, hey, if the world is changing, then grades and stuff, like they don't really matter, right? So fast forward to 2000 and, ah, oh gosh, maybe 2016, something like that. So fast forward and, or let's just fast forward to today. So I go to the grocery store. Hey, hearing the call of the will or wild. Thanks for joining me. So I, um, so I ran to a friend today at the grocery store and we talked about dolphin energy and we're talking about reincarnation. We are talking about past life regressions. We are talking about the ascension of earth. We are talking about a 3D versus a 4D versus a 5D. This is really good stuff. <laughs> and at a first impression, at a first initial impression, at a first moment's glance, you might think, what in the world is she going on about? Like, what is she talking about? Like, we live in a 3D world. Sure, there's movies like Interstellar and all that stuff where it talks about time, how it's not linear, and, you know, all that stuff. Yeah, all that. You know, I, so many things have kind of led to today. And I remember I read these books. They were written by, what was his name? I don't remember. But the information came from a being named Bashar. Or a series of beings named Bashar, a, cer a certain number of beings named Bashar. And one of the concepts that, that Bashar shared was the concept of tuning into a vibrational frequency or a channel that is 
the channel that you desire to live, the channel that you wish to be a part of. It's like watching TV. You can turn to channel five, channel four, channel three, so on and so forth. <laughs> Thanks for the thumbs up, Marie. And, um, and he was just like, what vibrational frequency do you want to be? Like, which, which channel would you like to tune into? Because the life that you live, you get to choose which of those versions of your life do you, would you like to live? And I remember thinking, you know, this is a very complex subject for me. And I thought, gosh, like, he's saying all these combinations, all these dimensions, all these life paths, these versions of my life already exist. It was just a matter of me choosing which version, version I wanted to tune into. And it was such a, it was such a unique topic for me to think about because I was thinking, okay, if all of these vibrational frequencies already exist all at the same time, and I get to choose which channel I tune into and which version of my life I would like to live, how does it work? <laughs> you know, how does it work? And today I got a pretty good analogy. My friend, she was saying, you know, if you, um, let's say for instance, you've tuned into a vibrational frequency where you're focusing on light and love and transformation and elevating our planet and humanity, right? That is the, that is the channel that you've tuned into. And then you also know about the stuff that's going on. Like you also know about the wars and the fighting and the bloodshed and the killing and the injustice, you know, about all those stuff going on too. Like you're very aware of these different channels that are going on in your life. You are just not living in the middle of the war. You're not living in the middle of the bloodshed. You're not living in the middle of the injustice. You are living in a world where you're going to the grocery store, you're talking to a friend, you're talking about past life regressions, you're talking about organic food, you're talking about your your soul elevated coaching practice, you're talking about a money course, you're talking about where's the baking soda. Like, sure, like you know like this other channel exists, but you're not really living it. You're not into it. It's not really affecting you in a very direct way. Like you're not in the midst of this war and you're like trying to just survive. You are actually living a life where it's very comfortable and you're living in a world where food is readily available for you, where you go to the grocery store there's not war and stuff going on like you're driving in your hybrid electric vehicle and you're driving to the grocery store and you get to stop at juice land and pick up your durian drink calibrator with extra durian like it's just a different vibrational frequency you're tuned into hey mmj enthusiast and it's it's just a different way of being it's just a different channel you're tuning into right so all those like the other stuff does exist, it just doesn't affect you directly. Hey, Carl Curry. And so if you think about your life that way, and you think about your ascension, you're thinking about the ascension of earth. You're thinking about humans that are living in a different vibrational frequency. And you're living, you're thinking about the humans that are asc ascending, ascending into a different vibrational frequency. frequency. They're tuning into a different channel where it's about love and light and transformation and elevation and ascension and self-actualization and connecting to the God source, connecting to the multiverse within you, connecting to love, connecting to your divinity. If you think about that world and you think about the old world where there was, it was ruled by fear and um, bloodshed and f wars and ravage and scarcity <laughs> this, this concept really blows my mind right because you know that those things exist just like in the whole spectrum of existence you know certain things exist it's just that you decided that that is not the life you are living that is not the life that you're tuning into that is the not the life that you're incarnating into you're not moving into a country where war is everyday fact of life you instead live in a different country in a different city in a different time where you're 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 most of the things most of your environment is very peaceful and you're working on elevation you're working on ascension you're working on bettering yourself you're, you're working on connecting to your god source and stuff <laughs> i so so got that today 
because that's the life I'm living. Sure, all that war and all that stuff exists, but I'm just not part of it anymore. Maybe I was a part of it in a past life. Maybe I was part of it, part of it when I was first born, when my parents fled the country of Vietnam where there was war and communism and bloodshed and bribery and injustice and all that stuff. Instead, they move us all to the United States of America. And I live in a country where, in a, in a, as a town, in an area, like where that stuff doesn't really directly affect me. Like I'm not walking out into the streets seeing bombs being dropped or people getting shot and killed. Like it's just not part of my existence on a day-to-day -day life. It's just not the, the vibrational frequency that I tune into. And um, so the question then becomes, what life would you like to live? What vibrational frequency, what channel would you like to tune into? What version of your life would you like to live? Are you ready and done with that old stuff in the past and the fear and the scarcity? Are you ready to be a master of the energy of money? Are you ready to be the master of the energy of time? Are you ready to be working on connecting to your God source and your higher divinity and the being of light and love that you are? Are you ready to climb up that mountain? Are you ready to see what is up there? Are you ready to make your ascension? Are you ready to tune into the fourth dimension, the fifth dimension, the dimension, and so on and so forth? I am. In fact, I think I've been on my way and I've been doing it for quite a while now. I just didn't put into words. I didn't have a conversation about it. And you know, some of the, there are some odd things I've noticed. For instance, hey Shay, there are some odd things. Like, do you notice if I say this stuff and it resonates with you, then you're probably on your way to living into the fifth dimension. Hey, Gina. So do you notice that like when you're in Zen and you're in like complete flow, hey, Marcus, and you are just like really deep into doing something you're doing, time flies by. <laughs> or um, you, you just totally lose track of time, right? Or, or how is it that you can accomplish so much from the moment you wake up until 10 o'clock in the morning and it's only been like four hours or you know like what what is up with that or in my case like I've had so much transformation in the last year that I've had a master life coach in my life that it feels like I've, I've accomplished at least 10 years of stuff in a matter of like 11 months it's, it's just astounding like in a different time of my life I could not live this exponentially I could not be doing this much so in a way we are becoming masters of the energy of time like we're stretching it we're um, we're slowing it down we're really manipulating in a way because we're living our life so differently like how is it that my coach's husband could write a book in a month <laughs> and how is it that I know that when I work my life coaching practice, hey Sonia, is it Sonia or Sonia? Um, how is it that I know that I could write three books in 18 months if that is my true desire and I don't have any qualms about it? How is it that I am launching, I'm offering a money transformative course on May 4th, I'm doing weekly group coaching sessions, I'm on my way to working my coaching practice full-time like there's so many things going on hey Suman thanks for all the love and support always and and I just <laughs> we are we are we are on the verge or if we're not already transitioning to a fourth dimension to a fifth dimension and I don't mean like <laughs> I don't mean like this chair that we have right here is 3d and then you know, the, ch the chair is going to be fourth dimensional, fifth dimension. I mean, like we're tuning into a different vibrational frequency, frequency where we're living in a different state of existence. And that is amazing. It is simply an evolution of our human form and our soul's expansion and growth and all in a tune with the expansion of the multiverse and all that wonderful stuff. Um, I looked it up. <laughs> so go check it out. 
Go check out the ascension of Earth to the fifth dimension and see what you think. See if the stuff that you read resonates with you. Because if it does, you might be part of the group of souls that are tuning into this and moving on to a different dimension and living in a completely different channel and vibrational frequency and really evolving and really connecting to your God source and the multiverse within you. And you're ascending. You are ascending. You are ascending. So if you didn't already know, the multiverse exists within you. You are a manifestation of the multiverse. You are a child of God. You are a being of light. You are oneness. You are connectedness. You are love. You are light. That is everything that you are. And everything that you need to live your most powerful life already exists within you. And if you are looking to climb up that mountain of reaching your highest uh, your your higher intelligence, your highest intelligence, your, you're looking to really go up to that summit and really connect to your God source and find out who you truly are. And you might need some help. <laughs> if you do, you can, uh, you can hire me to be your life Sherpa. I'll guide you as an expert mountaineer up your climb up the mountain to connect to your God source. And, um, or you can, Go to my weekly group coaching sessions on Wednesdays in the evenings. It's at, I haven't set a time yet, but right now we have it tentative, tentatively for 8 p.m. Central Texas time. And um, it's every Wednesday. So send me a message or go check out my website, soul, S-O-U-L, elevatelife.com, and you can sign up there. And you can transform anything you desire. Everything that you need to really live your most powerful life already exists within you. If you just don't remember how to do it, how to get there, then get a life coach. Uh, to, I call myself a life Sherpa. So you can hire me. You can hire Megan Fife. You can hire Lauren Roberts. You can hire Kat, Catherine Ruth. Um, there are so many life coaches out there, but it's very powerful to have a life coach. It's very powerful to have a Sherpa, a guide in your climb up the mountain. That's it. Happy Sunday. And, uh, um, yeah, check it out. Go, go Google the earth ascending to the, the earth's ascension to the fifth dimension. See what you see. If it resonates with you, you're probably ascending and expanding and growing, of course. So I send you love, light, profound clarity, infinite possibility to create the life you desire to live. One that is aligned with your soul's. Purpose, expansion, and growth. Always, 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 always. Sending you lots and lots of love. Here's to you living a soul, elevated life. I will see you tomorrow. And don't forget, I'm launching a money course. It's 28 days of transforming your relationship with money. Starting on May 4th, I'm writing the offer page and the sales page. As soon as that is done, I will send you a link. I'll put a link in the comments. Love you lots. I'll see you tomorrow.